Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and... Pahamar! Pahamar, how are you, sir? I'm good, now that you remember to put me in the intro. Oh, burn. What's happening, buddy? Not much. Uh, I'm thinking about breaking the rules. Oh, good. Rule breaking is something I can get behind. But I don't know if uh, I want to break the rules first, or if I want to hand in some quests. We have quests to hand in? Well, we could. I see. Last episode, Last episode. I grabbed some seared bricks because there was the tool station quest that was available. Go on. So, let me just get the stuff I need. Sounds good. So I doing? learned something very cool. What's that? So you remember last episode I was trying to get water in the form of um, like bottles or buckets into the chemical decomposer so I could get oxygen? Mm-hmm. Do you remember that or are you just pretending? No, I kind of remember that. I probably okay, can't do it. look what I figured out. Hold on, I'm crafting. Mm. But cool things are happening. There's things spinning and moving and happening. And I made a quest go. Good for you. I made oxygen. I kind of feel like oxygen is more important than quests. Well, yeah, considering how much, you know, of the air you use. Yeah. I use a lot of air. You would. Well. So now I have lots of iron oxide because I got iron, which came from iron. And I got oxygen, which came from water. We also have a lot of hydrogen, and I have no idea what that's good for, but hopefully it's something, because we have tons of it. <laughs> and I mean tons of it. I've been throwing it in this uh, ME chest here, which I've designated our uh, mine chem chest. So, like, so far I have 468 units of hydrogen. No idea, like, how that's useful or what it does, but why not? Well, if you're interested, I handed in the Toolforge quest. Oh, you don't say. Hang on, let me get the recipe for redstone. I'm totally just checking out what you've been making. Oh, uh, well, uh, what's in here? Can alumite uh, mine, what is that? Is that equal to diamond? In terms of hardness? What now? Is alumite equal in hardness to diamond? Uh, it's better than diamond. Okay. Well, uh, we need a magma crucible then, but yeah, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get started on this stuffs while you're doing that stuffs. Okay. I'm cool with that plan. So I've basically found a way to turn copper and iron into large amounts of redstone. Nice. I thought you would be happy about that. So I just made a stack of redstone. Remember how much trouble we were having making redstone? Yep. So I want to repeat, I just made a stack of it. <laughs> how much energy did it take? I have no idea. I really have no idea. But the buffer on the chemical synthesis machine is huge, which probably explains why we're running out of power downstairs. And by running out of power, I don't mean like we're really running out of power, but...
Once again, I like how you're doing like quest progression and I'm building platforms. Well, it's what you're good at. All right, so which quest did you hand in now that I've finished with? Oh my goodness, we have four quests to hand in, or at least I do. Uh, I can't even see. Oh, Tool Forge, you completed that, okay. All right, I'll just put the rewards I get into the AE system. Which I think I did. No, I did not. Oh, I have three quest things to hand in from our secrets. Is that because I went uh, trophy hunting? I can only assume as much. So let's see. I got copper blocks, two of them. I got a golden lasso with killer 24D2401 and J Holter 1313. I got some rail cart stuff, mine cart with chest and rails. It's apparently a good reward. And I got some TNT. Nice. Don't use TNT. It makes holes in things. Oh, really? Is that what TNT does? Thanks, Bahamar. Hey, you saw what I did in the rotunda. I did see what you did in the rotunda. I feel like I should be telling you what TNT does. Come on, you don't know vanilla mechanics. I don't very well, but I know better than you, apparently. Okay, so what I want to do this episode, Bahamar, is make a power monitor. And Why do you want to make a power monitor? I'm glad you asked. Let's go downstairs and see what our reactor is up to. Our reactor is currently full, so it's wasting energy at the moment. So I'm turning it off. You're so wasteful. Who turned on the reactor? I did at your request. Okay, then. So whoever turns it on should be turning it off. You, you were the one who wanted power. What? No, I'm sorry. I didn't hear what you just said now. I'm building things. You're building things? I am. I swear Direwolf just wants to play these maps with me just so he can belittle me. What? I would never do such a thing. Well, we're going to call it Dire Littling. So how was Ang Malin made again? I think it was bronze and gold, right? Pulverized iron and pulverized gold equals Ang Malin. Do do do, just building stuff. What are you building? Uh, a platform for our farming. Sweet. Because this room seems like it could get very small very quickly. And considering we have all the space in the known universe, because you destroyed it. Thank you. Hey, see, you admit it. Like to see you prove it. The absence of everything. Isn't that pretty strong evidence? Oh wow, that looks expensive. Check out the recipe for the builder's wand. Oh boy. Um, not terrible. Yeah, no, that's, that's really not bad, but we need ender pearls, that's the trick. I'm just curious if it's easier to do this like with this. So apparently not, no. Uh, 
I hope you're doing something exciting over there. Oh, me? Yes. Why are you hoping that? Because this isn't very exciting. Um, it's not the most exciting build in the world, but it's working. It'll be exciting in a minute. Do you want to come back after I've done some exciting things? Sure, you're the most exciting person I know, so why not? You're also the yeah, only yeah, person yeah, I know yeah. in this void. I like the sound of that. Alright guys, we'll be back in a minute once I've got the capacitor bank and the power monitor crafted. Alright guys, we're back, and I just figured out how to make nether quartz. Woot! Nice. How'd you do that? You do yeah. That? Um, well, I played around with Minechem for about 10 minutes and finally figured out that um, you can craft it using, you ready for this, silicon dioxide, which you can get from sand very easily, and gallium arsenide, which is not easy to get, but you can craft gallium arsenide with gallium and arsenic, um, which both of which you can get from dirt but it's a very low chance. So I threw a stack of dirt in here and happened to get each of what I needed and combine them together. And then I combine them with the silicon. And long story short, I got nether quartz. Nice, is that gonna help us kill monsters? No, it's gonna have to help me craft a power monitor, which requires a redstone comparator, which requires, I believe, smooth. Did we not get comparators in a reward bag at some point? Did we? I thought we did. Oh, by the way, when I was opening up this wall a little bit more, oh yeah, I made a platform. Oh, we did. No, we got Mumbo Jumbo's comparator. Can I use them to craft? Uh, I don't know. I think they're just renamed. Anyway, I found a reward bag. Oh, really? What'd you get? Four Mumbo Jumbo's comparators. Sweet. So all my um, making of things was for naught? Possibly. If it works in that recipe of yours. I see. Well, but I mean, like, cool story. Yeah, no, it was a cool story. I was, I was pretty pleased with it. I've been making silicon. I'm... I wish I was a more creative builder. You and me both. Wait, was that a burn? No, I'm wishing that I too was more creative of a builder. That was legitimatenessness. All right. Um... I'm going to need a few more minutes here, Pahamar. Sounds good. Okay. All right, Pahamar, I think I'm mostly ready here for what we need to do. I need one more electrical steel. And then I can make a power monitor. And I didn't actually check, but I'm hoping that there is a redstone control port down there on that reactor. Did you happen to notice if there was? Redstone or red net? Um, probably red net would work. Let me check. Uh, have I'm a look right in the looking. system as well. A reactor access port, reactor power tap. I was gonna say in the ME system, we may actually have ourselves um, some controllers, I believe. Yeah. Let me have a look. I might be able to craft one too. I don't know how hard it is, but reactor, power tap, control rod, controller, coolant port, and we've got casings. And I believe it's easy to make reactor red net port. Do I want that, or do I want? Isn't there something else I can do? I guess red net port's the one I want. Why is there no recipe for it? Maybe it's a you have to find it thing. Maybe. Mm. 
Did I go through the process of making this whole thing and it's not possible to craft what I want to craft? <laughs> You're killing me. That's not cool. All right, let's come back in a minute after I see if I missed something here. Okay. Nope, oh, I found the reactor redstone port. Rednet must be disabled because we don't have um, Mine Factory Reloaded installed. Tisk tisk. I know, dire noob. So let's see, I'm thinking I'm going to want this. Oh, you got to go turn it on? Well, we're going to enable engine control. Okay. You ready? So I'm going to put this guy here. So the reactor should be off at the minute, right? It looks off. Okay, now if I place the capacitor bank here, it should be emitting a redstone signal and it should be turning on the reactor. Hold on, that is... It's on. There we go. It's on. Nice. And when this capacitor is more than half full, which, or no, when it's above 75%. So in a moment here, Bob Mar, we should see it shut off. Which should be right about... There you go. Now. There you go. Nice. So that should be cool. Uh, I wouldn't mind having a better capacitor bank, but double layer capacitors actually not too hard to make now that I know how iron oxide is made. That's actually really easy. I just need some invar. I could make a double layer capacitor at some point soon, but we'll get there. Uh, so yeah, what this will do is um, the reactor will automatically output its energy into this capacitor bank, which will draw into the tesseract and power our machines upstairs at a rate of a thousand hours per tick and then when the internal capacitor of the reactor is empty it'll stop filling the power bank there so that's when it'll get kicked on and off automatically so we shouldn't have to worry about power anymore Bahamar. nice i thought you would be excited about that i am moderately excited i'm heavily excited at your moderate excitement very cool. All right. Um, do not go into the spatial I.O. area. Okay. Because I loaded up the biosphere. Oh, okay. I want to go gather some plants because now we have a platform, right? Okay. Because we have a ton of resources, I'm going to go ahead and make us a bunch of invar. Is that the next plan? Sure, why not? Do I want these flowers? Probably not, eh? Probably not a. Can't tell I'm Canadian. Not even a little bit. And I believe crafting invar is a quest, so. There is Paris and invar. So I just need 10 invar ingots, which we should have in a moment. So I should be completing that quest any moment. Um. I should check under the walkways in the rotunda to find nether quartz, apparently. Yeah, do you really want to go in the rotunda again? I don't know, kinda. You are crazy. Thank you. Silver and lead. Could you come down here and chop down these trees? 
I could try. You could do. I'm gathering up all this because I think this is better than the dirt. I'm on my way, Palomar. Oh yeah, that soil stuff is definitely better than dirt. Yeah, so while this stuff is unloaded, nothing grows in here. Okay, good to know. I had imagined as much. I bet if we put a chunk loader in here, it would work. But I don't even know if there's anything in this mod pack that has chunk loaders. No, because it actually unloads this entire space. Like, it just it doesn't exist. Uh, partially true. There is a dimension. Um, it's the AE dimension. And it basically teleports it to that dimension. Like, you might even be able to see. Yeah, if you do slash COFH TPS, you'll see that there is actually storage cell dimensions listed. Ah. Uh. Yeah, so that's how it works. Um, so I bet it it's just like any other dimension, really, unless I don't think it's programmed differently. So if you actually put a chunk loader down, it should continue ticking. But like I said, I don't even know if we have anything that can chunk load. And yes, I approve collecting that dirt because um, I know for a fact, for example, like you can put sugarcane on it without water being next to it. So it's basically in some way specially programmed to accept everything. And I'm completing the quest for Inbar. Nice. Hooray. I got bone throwing knives. Oh really? Yeah, really. All right, should I loan up Miner's Delight or the Rotunda? I defer to you on that decision, sir. Let's load up the Rotunda. I'm looking at rotunda, how hard it's going to be to craft a double layer capacitor at the moment, and I believe I can do it. Ooh, I made a double layer capacitor. Do you know what that does? Uh, capacitates. It allows our smeltery to operate at a higher level. Basically, I think it doubles the speed of the smelting. And considering we have a chest full of things that need to be smelted at the moment, that seems like kind of a good idea. A double layer capacitor bank affects the smeltery? No, it's an item that goes into, there's an upgrade slot on the alloy smeltery. Oh, okay. Yeah. You could also get um, the octuple capacitor. And that is very expensive. Wow. Do you want to know the name of the item you need to craft that? Sure. Well, there's mercury, there's lumium gears, there's dark steel, there's a double layer capacitor, and then there's brace for it. Methyl cyclopentadienyl manganese tricarbonyl. Oh, I got tons of that stuff at home. Good, because what? <laughs> I, I, what? <laughs> I don't. I don't need them. That's a combination of carbon, hydrogen, manganese, and oxygen. Actually, maybe not too bad. I'm betting carbon you get from like coal, right? Yeah, coal, and. Um, manganese you can get from manganese dust. Some kind of ore, apparently. That might actually not be too hard to craft, but holy cow, what? 
I'm sure there's some weird, complicated mine cam way of doing it. So I guess you're making a farm for us? That's the hope. Let's see if I can get behind. Can I plant some trees while I'm here? Already on top of it. Oh, okay, cool. Well, I've got some saplings if you need them. Plunk them over here. Okay. All the saplings for the Pahamar. All right, I think I should look into our quest book and see what's a reasonable text request to do next. Sucrose. Uh, breaking down sugar cane can produce raw sugar in the form of sucrose. There we go. That's a bit of a farm. I don't know that analyzing is necessary, but it's kind of worth it, I guess. Uh, I'm completing the sucrose test, I think, or quest. Oh, I need more sugar than that. Okay, awesome. It's a good thing I planted some sugar cane. It's a very good thing you planted some sugar cane. So I've got the ender lilies planted, sugar cane, good. wheat, potatoes. Carrots, and we got some trees going. I wonder if this fertilizer is easy to get. I've noticed that, and it's weird because it's kind of hard to figure out when, but there's like chances that you'll get stuff sometimes. I guess 65% chance that you'll get sucrose? Is that what it's telling me? I don't really understand how that works. I'm just gonna test something in here. I don't like the sound of that. Should I put armor on? I don't know yet. No, I'm really concerned. <laughs> Reactor stuff. I may have let monsters loose in the rotunda. You what now, who? I may have let monsters loose in the rotunda. Because I heard something. I yeah, because I heard something oh, about right. quartz down here. Oh, you were right. There is uh, some sort of quartz down here. You are correct, sir. Be careful. There's yeah, I see things. There's a zombie flying around. Oh boy, he shoots exploding arrows. That's not something that's ideal. What? What happened, Fahimar? That lagged. Oh. Although I had an idea with this stuff. I'm almost glad I died. Because you know what there's a lot oh, of? Wow. Uh, in totally the spawn area? Know. What's that? This ineffable glass. Oh yeah? Which we can walk through but monsters can't. Nice. So I was thinking that might be, uh, make better barriers and stuff. Alright, I somewhat trapped them, but now we need a sword to kill them. So I can get my stuff back. I could have sworn I had more sword than the A system, but. All 
That's we, a lot of zombies. We can just create more of those arrows that killed the server. We could, and then the server would die, and everything would die with it. I have a lot of zombies to kill, Pahamar. Should we come back once uh, I've completed said task? Yes, murder them all. Murder them all. Okay. Okay, I got my stuff back, but I think your stuff was in a harder spot. No, I got my stuff, but right now I'm lighting up the underground area that you found. And nice. I found a bunch of nice. things in a chest that I don't want to look at right now because I'm running through here hoping to light it up well enough that it's all good. Alright, I'm gathering up this dense charge service quartz. Okay. This is a quest, isn't it, this stuff? Uh, the charged, yes. The charged is a quest and the nether quartz. You need both. Alright, let's clear this place out. Alright, it should be well lit down here so that no monsters spawn. And I found a skystone chest with some blue orchids in it, an advanced item collector from random things, and an item collector from random things, an ectoplasm, and a projector lens from Minecraft, and a fancy blue lamp. And a few other things that aren't terribly exciting, but... I grab it all. I grab it all. Okay. Have you managed to get everything so far? I've got a good amount of it. I keep hearing monsters. Cool. I wonder if what's below this level. That's a good question. Oh, I wonder if there's a safer way to get to that bottom level to kill those monsters and get to the lead and whatever else is down there. I'm gonna check. Okay. That's not a bad idea. My inventory is rather full, so I'm gonna head up. So, am I right in thinking that we've reached the wrapping up point for this episode, by the way? That is entirely likely. Oh boy. Okay, there's definitely a way we can get to that level without having the ladder of death. So, cool. so these, these levels are shaped as Tauruses, it looks like. Okay. And then like there's Taurus the, the Bull? Like the ring. Like a donut. Think oh, of donuts. that's much better. That's a much better word. So Thank the, the donut the level donut. we're on appears to be the top level. Go on. And then there's the solid like core that goes down the middle. Okay. So there's a lot of mobs on top of the outsides of the, these donuts. There's a donut level below us. But what I'm thinking of is that we may be able to build a nice little platform that we can snipe off the monsters in the landing of that second level of the core, okay. which will let us get at that uh, that ore that's in there. So maybe we should check that out next episode? Probably, but first I'm going to hand in this quartz challenge. Okay, while you're at it, I'm going to hand in super since I just finished that. Oh, that expanded a whole bunch of mine kind of stuff. Oh, goodness. Okay, so but let's see that. We got a charger and some crystal growth accelerators, so that's actually really nice. That is, actually. Um, oh, we don't have Steve's factory manager. <laughs> well, for the time being, I'm going to put those in the AE system along with all the other junk that I have gotten, and I guess I should check out our reward bag. Don't forget to put your heads up on the wall. Yeah, I'm working on it. I got a growth hatchet and spawn spider creeps. Neither of those things are terribly exciting for me. I got another set of us. So another Hooray! sword, another direwolf, another pomar, another fireball, and another algorithm. And a miniature red hat. I am glad, by the way, that you expanded the area that we're living in, because we're probably going to need it for heads. Like, pretty soon. <laughs> we're actually doing pretty terribly. I think I'm we're glad going to have it on hardcore mode. Yeah, we're going to have to do the Room of Death. Well, you know what? Like, in previous maps, we were like, hey, hardcore is okay, because a lot of quest rewards were extra lives. Like, I haven't gotten a single extra life yet, have you? Nope. So do but you have any idea, like, what our starting point would have been? Uh, not a clue. Oh, I have not been refilling this, because I've been moving all the stuff out there. Oh, okay. Although it's fine. Well, our sprinkler is here, so... Yeah, actually, I'm beginning to wonder if I need to level below this with, like 
bigger carrot and potato production. Because I imagine yeah, we'll be able to get a lot of like organic chemicals off of uh, the crops. Yeah, yeah. I have no idea like how many chemicals we need and what would be good to make what with. Because I get the feeling there's a lot of, you know, exchanging one thing for another with Mindchem, but it's tricky. So we'll see. We'll figure it out. Uh, for now, I think it's time to wrap up the episode. So next episode, we'll come back and work more on quests. Silver and lead is a quest that we need to do, and that is found down further in the area the, that we have. The Death to Tunda. Get. Yeah, the Death Tunda. That is the correct name for this area that we are in. I'm just gonna like take a peek real quick and see what's down there. Well, come come down here. I'm not going anywhere. No, if you want a good view. I want a view from up here. Yeah, we'll have to figure out like how to get down there. I mean, it actually because of you blowing up the lava. I mean, there's some lit up areas now, but I'm sure it's. I see a creeper at least, so we'll figure out a way to get safe down there another time next episode maybe we'll go down there and try and get some of that silver and lead that would be good wow there's actually like hunks of like solid copper blocks in the lava below nice so where are you are you down underneath this thing yeah i'm down underneath cool where well this big stuff, is weird. stuff is weird come down to where we got the uh charged sort quartz yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm running around the circle looking for you. The donut. So whatever that magical word is that you said. Taurus. Oh, I see where you are. Yeah. The Taurus. That's right. Taurus the bull. You are terrible at this. I'm... Yeah. Uh, there's a skeleton who's aiming at you. He would. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I see him. There's definitely some kind of copper or something down there. Yeah, and it looks like there's actually a third level. So there's three levels here. Yeah. I hope one of the things we can get is a creative mode item that lets you not die. Yeah, about that. They don't. They don't have those items. Don't think so. Okay. All right, guys. Wrapping up point. Way past. Gotta go. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Automated power, made sucrose, and other things, and all kinds of cool stuff. And we only died a little. We only died a little. Okay. Bye, guys. I'm gonna go check on our reactor too. Ah! All right, guys. Take it easy. What?